Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, I know in the news they're talking about the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, right? But here's the thing about it. For many of you, you think like, it don't affect me. Well, the reality is it actually could affect you. All right. Now they're expecting for more banks to collapse, which is your regional and smaller banks. All right. But here's the thing of how it's actually going to affect you. And I'm going to talk about some of the top banks that are probably more secured so you don't have to worry about your regular deposits and everything. The problem with the situation is that with Biden, okay, he decided, well, we're not going to take care of the shareholders and the bond brokers. We're only going to take care of the deposits, right? But here's the problem. When you start doing that, your shareholders and bondholders, what they end up doing, they'll move their money, right? So the bank is going to collapse anyway. Because now they feel that, well, we don't have no protection. So we're going to do something else with our money. So just so you understand, now, in reference to those other shareholders and bondholders, how this all ties in, and I want you to pay really close attention to this. You know those apps you may use, like uh, for ride share, or say that you're trying to rent a scooter and stuff? Well, those companies that get that money from those major banks and stuff like that, if that money isn't coming in, then those companies are not able to do their transactions. So if you wanted to call an Uber or Lyft or rent a bike or something, that that's how directly it can affect you. All right. Now, that being said, for those of you that are worried about some of these smaller banks and stuff, here's some of the bigger banks that you may want to consider putting your money in. The first one is SoFi Bank. Now, with SoFi Bank, they pull Experian, uh, no check systems, and it's a FICO 9. So if you're trying to get a personal loan or a student loan or a credit card, then SoFi Bank is where you want to start. Now, the next one, and I hate to say it, but... Unfortunately, they're on the list, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, because of no check system, they use FICO 9 for their personal credit cards and business credit cards, and they offer business bank accounts, all right? Then the next one is Capital One, okay? Capital One. Now, they pull FICO 8, but they will give you a Vantage 3 score, but they offer business accounts as well. And I always tell you, when you're dealing with Capital One, even if you have a 580 credit score, the easiest card you want to go for is their Capital One Spark Business Card, the gold card, okay? Excuse me, with Capital One, all right? Now, the next one is U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank. They don't use check systems. It's FICO 9. Now, the, here's the thing about it. If you're trying to go for any of their business products or their personal products, they are inquiry sensitive. All right? So, they use FICO 9, usually TransUnion. All right? Then you have BBVA. Then you have PNC Bank. Now, PNC Bank, I think, is going to be a major player in all of this. The reason is because PNC Bank is trying to expand. Now, like I said in the previous video, PNC Bank, they passed up the opportunity to uh, buy S Silicon Valley Bank. They said, nah, we don't want to have nothing to do with it. And this messed up thing about it, they're starting to think that it was insider trading because some of the upper management and owners of Silicon Valley Bank, they started selling shares prior to the collapse okay so that's the thing about it where like the uh kramer he's a stock market guy okay so he was talking about how silicon valley bank is a buy 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 right well the thing about it that led them up to going on this fundraising thing or whatever. At the same time they was hiding like over 15 billion dollars of debt that people didn't even know about right and they started selling shares. Some of the higher ups started selling shares because some people, they just hear about the bank's collapse, but they don't know why. So I'm just giving you a perspective of some of the shady stuff that was going on that we wasn't even aware of. And this is, again, you have Signature Bank that was going to be affected by it as well. Basically, these people have assets, but they don't have cash on hand to liquidate. Okay, and unfortunately, the cryptocurrency, some of this stuff was backed by cryptocurrency, which also got them caught up as well. 
All right. Now talking back about P PNC Bank and why I think they're going to be a winner in this because PNC Bank full Experian FICO 9. You can actually get a credit card increase, credit line increase with credit cards and stuff every six months on a soft pull. Now the interesting thing about it, they have a business credit card. It's called the business called the business option visa signature and they have a business lines of credit so you can actually get both of those up to fifty thousand what i'm going to do i'm going to do more of a deep dive in terms of their business products and their personal products so that you can have a better uh, understanding of how to leverage uh pnc bank but these here are your top banks okay like i said let's go back over it sophie bank wells fargo I, the reason I didn't mention Chase Bank of America because they use check system. So that's the reason I didn't mention those. I'm mentioning uh, financial institutions that will work with you even if you're in check systems. So that's the reason they are not on the list. But Sophie Bank, Wells Fargo, Capital One Bank, U.S. Bank. Okay. And the reason, let me go back on talking about U.S. Bank. This is another reason. With U.S. Bank. Say that you have business uh, credit cards and stuff like that, or credit card products with them. They do automatic increases without doing a hard inquiry. Okay, so that's the reason that I like U.S. Bank because you don't have to keep on asking for a credit card. Every six months, they evaluate what's going on with your credit, how you're managing your accounts and stuff, and then they give you a credit line increase, right? So that's the reason that I specifically uh, targeted uh, U.S. Bank. And again, like I said, they are inquiry sensitive. And by them pulling TransUnion and stuff, so what I mean by inquiry sensitive if you have above six inquiries on your credit file, that may be a challenge, okay? One other lending institution you may want to uh, take a look at is First National Bank of Omaha as well, okay? Because they have personal products as well as business products, and they also pull Experian FICO 9. So now you have a gist of uh, financial institution that you can switch your money over to if you're worried about the Silicon Valley uh, bank collapse happening again with your smaller institutions. Okay, it's very important to know that, hey, or maybe you just want to diversify. You just may want to diversify, but these are the top banks that I think you should take a look at in order to be able to raise more funding or to make yourself feel more secured in terms of where you're actually putting your money. All right. Now, if you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.